Now what I'm going to be tying here is a, a basically a there's a Kate McLaren with a sunburst tail. Now this is an olive Kate McLaren, is what I would call it. It's just the same pattern, but with the, the light sunburst, uh, sunburst tail, marabou tail is used. Now, just to get an idea, these, these are the two flies here. And you can see there's the normal one, sorry, the normal one here, and then the olive version. And you see all the versions are going to be tying. The hook, uh, the hook is uh, basically a full mill, it's a competition heavyweight size 10. The size I'm going to be using is the chartreuse in 8.0. I'm just going to put down a, a layer of thread, it's along the shank, all the way along. It's a very simple fly to tie. Just stop it in line with the barb of the hook. And then I'm going to get some, this is the, the marabou, this is dyed a light sunburst or a, basically a fluorescent yellow with a wee touch of red in it, just a tiny bit, not too strong. Just warms it up a wee bit. So what I'm doing here is just pinching it to line up the ends. So, not too much marabou. You're looking for a marabou tail about the shank length. So I'm just going to make a space so I can tie that in there. Let's come over. Tie it down. And then trim it the length of the body. Now it's going to have a, a muddler head, so obviously give your cell around about at least 3 to 4 mil from there. The rib of the fly. Just a, a gold oval tinsel and small catch this on and then I'm going to take the thread up tidy things up all the way and then quickly come back down tie in some olive uh, seals for so it's like a medium to a light olive more a light olive you can see this one uh, dub it onto my thread a tiny bit more slide it up start at the back and then we work our way up this is a, it's a good fly tied and you could tie it at 14s quite easily it's a, it's, this is obviously a bigger size this is for a big rolling wave and when the mayfly and islands coming off this is a good pattern. Looking for an olive. It's very quite light. This is a like all of this is a Chinese. You could use any sort of hackle, it's a nice colour or a nice olive. It could be light, dark, medium, whatever you like. First thing we do is remove the fluff and trim the stem so that I've got enough to tie it in. Nice and tight. Use my hackle pliers. Nice straight turn at the top, work our way down. Come over with your rib. And then come up through, ribbing the fly, tying in your hackle at the same time. I'm just going to break this off. This last turn here, what I'm going to do is just bring up the tinsel, catch it in the top. Three or four turns to make sure it's not going to move. Trim away the wax on your thread again. Best to tidy this area up. So I'm just going to level things out. Makes it easier to get the deer hair to to roll. Now for the the brown. Normally there's a brown in the Kate McLaren. Now this is a basically a ginger, kind of dark ginger dyed. It's dyed yellow. So basically it warms it up. Now I'm using up one of the longer hackles. I want a nice long hackle fibre. So I do it to give it like a, for the Irish locks, a le very leggy light -like look. Like octopus in a way. Just check the length. The way to check the length is to put the stem in line with the shank and you'll see the length of the hackle that you'll, you'll get. So I'm going to come slightly further up the hackle. So can we Trim it much the same as we did with the body hackle. Catch enough stem in, tie it down, and then draw back the fibres. Now you only want a couple of tons of this. This just basically warms it up. There we are. 
Now I've got another fly out with that feather, so don't throw it away. Can then trim away the excess, and again, tidy this up. Take the thread to the eye, come back up. It's a small muddler head, it's not a big heavy head. Yeah. Now, some deer hair, I've got dyed olive. This is roe deer, dyed olive. So what I'm going to do is take enough off to form the head and a, a collar. So basically what we're doing is by the longer fibre, it obviously tapers out, it's tapering slightly back, so it gives you a lovely shape. So we trim that close to the skin. Make sure you've got all the under fluff and under fur away from there. The length of these guard hair fibres is you want about half into, halfway into the, the length of the, the brown or the ginger hackle. So we get that, we come round with a couple of turns. We slowly tighten up and then allow it to rotate and then work your way nice tight straight turns straight through the deer hair to the eye. Always keeping the thread tight, don't let it go. If you're not confident with the 8 thread, use the 6 -o. Pull back the waist or the cut ends, make sure you've got a good head. Keep it always tight. Straight in with that finish. And there we are. We can trim away the thread. Just going to bring out the cut ends, straight. You'll see the collar there in the, the hackle. Then you get yourself a curved pair of scissors. It's a small curved pair I use. And we're going to roughly cut this. Now you could pull it towards the back and get an angled cut, meaning like coming at an angle with the, the curve of the scissors. You can, as I say, bring it straight out and you get a more uniform or kind of better round cut. It's entirely up to yourself. The thing I do is, is just a slowly cut from the eye out using the the eyes are, are basically to help get an angle to the, the cutting of the deer hair all the way around and rotate as you go. Might miss the odd one, so just take it away. Looks okay. The thing about deer is knowing when to stop. Now that's just an impression of a head. You don't want too big a head. Uh, if you want a really ball-like shape, that's up to yourself. But for a nice fly that this here, you can control near the surface. You can gink it up. You can just pull it as a wet through the waves, and it works extremely well. People will say nothing like a mayfly, but as the right colour combination, it just it's very good for a dark tight water. Or to put it this way, if you were fishing Melvin, this would be a great fly. Uh, which is an island, so we just we drop a varnish into the head there, make sure the eye's clean. And there we go, that's your olive Kate McLaren. The light sunburst tail, good pattern, good style, colour combination, it's up to yourself, you can make it light, dark, this is a nice one. And uh, Anyway, so simple to tie, and I hope you enjoyed that.